All right, guys, one thing that I've learned kind of back from my childhood, fishing these little creeks and fishing these and <laughs> fishing from the bank. Um, I've been fishing from a boat for so long, I guess I didn't think about it. Is you lose a shit ton of baits. Yeah. When I'm out on my bass boat, I can just go over to the bush and get the damn thing out. Or I can go past the lay down or whatever's in the water that my jerk bait or whatever stuck on, I can go get it out. When I'm on the bank and it's cold as hell, it's pretty much gone. So a couple days ago, I was going back to refill my, my creek bag or my, or my little box. And I was like, damn, I done went through a shit ton of baits doing this mess. Um, and there, some of the AliExpress ones are kind of cheap. Um, like the, this is one of my favorite things to throw. I ordered some more of these. These are uh, basically a Jackal knockoff that AliExpress sells. Jackal version is $12 ish. These are three. They work just as good. This is a sinking man. This is not a jerk bait. It sinks. You can see the weight. See the weight in the belly of it? It doesn't go back and forth. There is a rattle that goes back and forth. But, and for the most part, it's pretty silent. But what this does is it sinks like this and it shimmies down and you jerk it and pop it up and it shimmies down, you jerk it and pop it up. I've caught a lot of fish off this. The only problem with this is when you're fishing in a shallow creek, you gotta be on point with this thing because it's gonna catch every damn thing on the bottom because that creek water is moving it down and it sinks and you're in snags constantly, constantly. So that's not what this is about. I went on with my favorite place to order some finesse stuff. That's ah, backwards on camera, you know how it is. A Euro tackle. Um, so let's just show you some of the stuff I like to get from them. That's kind of replenished all my little stuff. Um, Euro tackle is not the cheapest, but they've got some really good finesse stuff. I'll give them that. Um, this is just like a little box of stuff. Uh, okay, now here, this is a real jerk bait. This is their, their Z Spender. It's just a little, I think they're two inches. This one's UV. I got a couple UV ones. I never got the UV ones to try. But I got a couple of the UV ones to try. Well, this one's not. This one's a shark, chartreuse. When you're fishing small baits, you'd be surprised how sometimes just a, a loud color or a bright color, whatever you want to call it, can just get you some bites. I mean, when you're throwing, I mean, this one, this is kind of a natural color. The color this is having on the back. This one is um, this is natural green, but it's also got UV. And this one's called chartreuse. These are two inches. They're eighth ounce. Um, it says two to four feet. Let's see if you can see it on the back. Um, I got a few of these. Um, I kind of wish they wouldn't just throw these in there with them. I mean, make me throw away your trash. Come on. A lot of companies do that mess though, so I can't just say it's a stem. Six cents does it. Um, lots of companies do it. Make me throw away your trash. And I also got, <clears throat> um, there's several little finesse crankbaits I like to use as far as like deeper divers. Um, I really like, I don't really know if you would call it BFS, but it's close to it. It's the, uh, the Spro Little John DD, a size 45. I think it weighs three sixteenths of an ounce or something close to that. But that's a very good, when I'm fishing stuff in the seven to 10 foot zone, it works really good, especially on BFS gear. You can really zing that thing out there. But these right here, these Z crankers, these, I got, let's replace a few of these. Like got a couple crawl patterns, a couple loud patterns, and I got, Yep, there's the one shad pattern. 
I didn't get too many of these. Just, just want to replace stuff. I, um, it's it's aggravating losing your shit. Um, and I got here's another one of those Z Spender in nice shad pattern. This one's called Real Thread Real Thread Fin. Match the hatch. But um, I hadn't used their 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 heads yet. Uh, they're they're nice ish. I got a couple of their heads. I thought you got more heads than that. I guess I didn't read good. You only get three little heads. Um, I got sixteenths and three thirty seconds. I've got a bunch of other little heads I don't really need. I just got a few of these to see what they're like. I've seen the little ball. Let's just take one out and look at it closely. Let's see. Let me get rid of their trash. One moment. Uh, I got it in my hand. Okay, so. And we got some more of their little finesse baits and stuff. Uh, main thing I guess the bee vibe. I've never got the fat assassin before. I thought I'd get some to try. They're a little um, two inch. Looks like a little rib worm with a little tiny tail. I can see that on. Um, let me grab a B vibe out and me grab one of these out. I want to take a closer look at it. Let me set this to the side for me, y'all. Other than, I mean, I've got some different B vibes. Got some pink V vibes. And I got some white B vibes. And I got some purple V vibe, purple smoke. Uh, that's the, the main colors of B vibes I throw. I don't throw them. Um, there's other little finesse little swim baits like that that also got the um, I think this one's called bluegill yeah um, but anyway they work but I prefer not to spend as much on them Main things I got was just the little crankbaits and the little jerk baits. And there's a. Wait a minute. There's supposed to be some Z crankers in here. Am I missing those? Oh, I forgot to tell you, these things go. Um, this one says different than that one. They go two to four foot. This one says two and a half to five foot. But I don't know. They each one says something different. Seems like, but they're basically the same bait. Um. Oh, and also I get black and chartreuse. But I usually get this in a, a different bait. It's the same but different. I order them from AliExpress. Um, I have got them before. Um, I've used them before. And the AliExpress ones, the little two inch AliExpress little swim baits work just as good as these. And you get like a pack of 20, maybe more, for about the same price you pay for these. Um, I've rigged up, I'm waiting to see if the weather's gonna be nice today. Um, I might go and take out, go out on the boat for a little while. Um, but I've rigged up one of these, the um, the mule minnow. Um, on this right here, this is the uh, the Cayenne Teton six 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 two um, light, and you can see I've rigged it up with a Naco head. Um, I want to see how it does. This is my first, um, well, I mean, I, I use the Slim Swims a lot. Um, you guys know a Slim. Here's the Slim Swims. I was just on a little chatterbait head. I've caught a lot of fish off of this. Matter of, um, I always bring along, I mean, I know I cut this off. But I'll put this back on something else. Depends on how the water is. 
But I just want to let you look how soft that thing is. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a 13 year old mind. But um, yeah, this is still. I don't even know if you can get these on AliExpress anymore. I've got three of them. Uh, and that, this is still one of my favorite BFS rods. Um, I wish I would have got on there when they had the one piece. Because I would have loved to got the one piece. These little rods right here are legit. Um, the small one, I like it a lot. But it is like a wet noodle. Um, unless you're fishing super small baits, I really don't go to it. And I have been really impressed with this reel. This is the Silver Feather. This reel right here, I, I might want to change these handles. They're okay. I just have such big hands that this little bitty handle just kind of sucks. And these things, when it's really cold outside, these things are really cold. Really cold. I mean, you warm them up pretty good with your hands holding on to them, but this is kind of, I might just leave it alone. But um, a lot of people around say I don't bring these on the boat. I've got three of these. Unless I've got one with me when I'm at the creek or the, the pond or wherever I'm at, these are on the boat. These little, these cutting tetons are on the boat. They're sensitive. They're, there's a good rod. I might, um, I mean, I have several of uh, the Dobbins. Um, Dobbins is a really good rod as well. But, well, I, I think they think the price on these went up a lot. They're at the end. I don't even know if they still have them. But I think you used to be able to get this rod for 60 bucks shipped. Or a little bit less, depends what the sale was. I think now it's 100 So, comparable. Yeah, I mean, well, I, let me tell you why I think this rod does better than some of the other ones. Like, I really like this rod here a lot too. The Valiant Eagle. But the guides are really small. If you're using the braid to mono, braid to floral leader, you better be on point with your knots. I mean, you better be on point. On point own point because it will stick and there's that little that Ichipon little finesse um, wacky rig I was telling you guys about I've caught a few fish on that the other day all of them tiny the rivers here the fish you have them between two pounds and a couple ounces <laughs> I mean they're small but it's way better than fishing some little small lakes here. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna give this one lake another chance because this guy was telling me about how good it is. You know, fishermen make up stories. I'm gonna go try again. But last time I was there, I've been on that lake three times now on the boat. And you can see almost all the way around the whole bank where people set up and fish there probably all night long. Eaters. People out there eating the fish they catch. Um, guess what they don't do, guys, if you eat them? That's right. They don't grow. Mm -hmm. They don't get a chance to grow anymore. It's done. If they in the grease, they didn't get released. Uh, I'm going to give you another good little rod. And you can actually get this rod here off of Amazon now. But this is a good little rod. Um, it's the... Um, it's, this has a different name now. This is a Lure Star. This is a Lure Star Sigma. Um, but I don't think they make this. I got another one coming from AliExpress, uh, Amazon, I mean. And this rod off Amazon is like 40. Um, it's a good rod. If you're like BFS fishing, see, I got the, I've got, I've got a lot of fish off this little guy right here. Um, what are they called again? The burrow, the burrow bug? Yeah, the burrow bug. The mule burrow bug with that little um, Z-Man micro chatter micro micro shroom in the creek. 
This little guy right here is deadly, <laughs> but snaggy. Very, very snaggy. Very snaggy. I mean, one thing you can kind of somewhat count on is that the hook will straighten out. But it only straightens out so long before it's gone. The problem with the straightening out hook is eventually it's going to break. Okay, back to what I was talking about a while ago. Let's take a look at these a little bit. Hmm. Why they make it so hard to get into? Damn. Dang. All right, there we go. So, all right, so this is kind of a smaller hook than I thought it was for a two inch bait. That's tiny. So, now let's take a look at this with one of their own baits. And this is the Pheromone Scented Bevob Purple Shad. There you go. You guys would be surprised at how well like the bass will bite purple. And I've caught some big ones with this little kind of setup. They, they just kind of, they got this all jacked up in this little thing in the tails. You know, one of the tails got completely ripped off. You pay this much for a bait, you don't want it to do that. I guess next time I'm going to use this one as tore up. See, look, the tail is gone. This kind of become like a little Ned bait. That's messed up. But all right, so the way this thing originally sets, here's the little jig head. We're going to see how it sets in here. Okay, so it comes out right at the sack. So it ain't too small. I use the, uh, most ones I use are Nako and, um, I'll show you in a second. So that little ball. I don't know how you're supposed to get it on that little ball or what that little ball is even for. Because all it does when you put it on there, that little ball just pushes straight up. And you can't really get it on there. I guess if you push it and pull it up on top of that ball, maybe. But that ball moves. So I guess it'll still move. But I mean, it, it rigs okay. It comes out all right. But the ones I normally use, I wish the little sticker's not there. This little box I got from Neko, from Nebo, or whatever it's called. Uh, on these right here, I use the little Z-Man head. It's roughly me. Let me take this off, man. If I'm using this bait for examples, I can use this bait for examples. But this has kind of just taught me I don't really want to order their heads no more. Ow. See, I come in here with this little guy here. Come down and out. And this little guy here has a really good keeper. That's why I'm really impressed with these little heads right here. And you see how it sits. Let's see if I can get this on here. You see how much better that sits on the hook? How much better it sits with that little bait. That's a much better presentation. I know the tail's torn off of this one, but you guys get the point. Um, another one that I like to throw. I mean, you don't need me. You don't need me to show you a little ball head. I've got plenty of little Neko ball heads in here. Um, these little boxes are awesome, by the way. See how they kind of hold your heads. Hold your head. 
I like it when she holds my hair. Please don't watch this, Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, actually, like I said, I got plenty of little Neko ball heads. I could show you that all day long. But that you've already seen that. Um, another one I like to use is this one's by VMC. They're little moon eyes. Uh, I get these in different sizes. I also get them for like my my three my 2.8, my three inch, 3.3 little swim bait game. Um, and um, I kind of use the smaller heads like this on the 2.5 inch slim swim. The three inch slim swim, I use the other ones. And then you pull this up, pop it over the keeper. Once again, a better presentation than this and way cheaper. Would you rather have this or I'm not going to poke another one or what I showed you with this? I don't even go on the little ball. I mean, this is my first time ordering their little heads and this will be my last time. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you get what you get and you don't get upset, I guess, is what they say. But, there you go. Um, this and this, and for the most part, um, the little Naco ball heads, well, the way the keeper is, instead of a little stupid ball. Um, my box is out there. Um, the Vike tungsten spin, it has a little ball on it, but that little ball is to keep your swim bait from pushing up into the blade, is what that little ball is for. Um, this actually is kind of cool. I might use this kind of like a finesse um, tight line. What do you think? What you guys think? I'm gonna sit here like in my hand, the little tail's just wiggling around. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. All right, I'm just being silly. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm kind of goofy. But this is not a good design. Look, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I just dumped them all out. Sorry. But this is where they, they come in a little pack like this. And the little tails are over here. You can kind of see where the little tails are. Then this little clam piece goes on top of it. And if they don't put them in this little pack right, and then it sits really tight in here. And if they don't put them in this little pack right, and the tail kind of pushes out the side, that tail's gone. When you're trying to get it out of this pack, unless you tear this pack all the way open, it's gone. All right, guys, I'm going to link this stuff down below. Um, these are good, but the ones on AliExpress are just as good. I'll try to link those as well. Um, I have to go back through and find them. Um, they don't come like this. I mean, I guess this is one good thing. It kind of keeps your tails kind of. <sighs> All right, so the ones from AliExpress, sometimes you'll get some of the tails, but some of these are kinked too. Like, look at that. Tails kinked to the side. Um, it's not bad, but some of the ones that you get from AliExpress are not usable, um, unless you pop you can pull the tail off. I guess I can start doing that. If the ones that don't have the, the tail are bent or all cockeyed and you can't get them to swim right, do this with them. I guess it's not a waste of bait then. If you do that. I'm trying to get these all lined back up in here. So I can put them back up. I'm a little OCD and anal about my tackle. Which unfortunately, like my... It looks like I've been... I've been trying to move stuff. I have a barn out back. And now that I have this building, I have my building here, and then I have my boat building back here. I have places that I can put it that's not a barn, that's not a dusty barn. 
My barn out there has a basically a dirt floor and it kind of just don't like it. Well, I like it, but the cats will start using it. The back, the front start of the stalls for the barn is what my dogs use. Um, anyway, just want to kind of show you what they're like in the pack. You see how tight it is in the pack? There's no room on the sides of these packs. I don't understand why they got a, such a tight pack when it's already in a double clamshell. Anyway, let me guys know what you think about this stuff down below. Um, I know you guys, some of you guys are here for finesse fishing. Some of you guys are here for other stuff. But I'm going to link all this stuff down below for you. Let me go ahead and put this where I know where it is. Put it back in its box. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, most of the stuff I throw on, throw this stuff on, <clears throat> Um, it's like your typical BFS gear. And this video is starting to go long. I don't want to go too long. But like um, the Silver Feather and the Cayenne Tetan, great setup. Um, there's We've talked about this before. This is still one of my favorite BFS reels. And this is the Casking Valiant Eagle 2. two. The, one, the first one, no. This one, lover i've got four of these i use these on bass rods i mean i could put that silver feather on a bass rod that's where i think a misconception is a lot of people think bfs reels are just for bfs i throw everything up to probably a half ounce on some of these sometimes depends on what i'm throwing i mean yes i have other reels i have other things but i have in the last three years have grown so fond of BFS reels and the reels that act like BFS reels, like the Caesars. They come with a BFS spool, but they're designed, they're primarily designed for regular bass fishing. So it has a good drag. I don't have to put as much line on it. Um, like I can get, I probably have on that one Caesar with the braid, um, with, the, with the BFS will have a 12 pound braid. Um, and I run it to a 10 pound leader and I throw my jerk baits on it. I use a softer rod, but I can bomb that jerk bait out there. It is, it's phenomenal. If you haven't used your BFS reels for other stuff, I mean, put it on um, well, I'm making this way too long, but just so I can show you. Well, so here's the Corrado BFS. Um, I have the SLX BFS coming in just because I want a BFS reel that does, um, a BFS reel that's really good at finesse crankbait. And that's the only one the Shimano's, the Shimano SLX um, BFS, you have to order from Japan, but it is the only one, the only one that has a 6-2 gear ratio, that is. So here's this. Here's another Valiant Eagle. And this is on an X-Pride. X-Pride 7-2 medium light BFS rod. This is not like these. These are light rods. This says medium light, but this rod here, I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, it is so sensitive, but this is more of a medium. This is not what you call closer to the light side. Um, I'll show you a rod on another video. I'm gonna get off here, I gotta get back inside. But there's a, um, a rod made by Phoenix that they have a 7.3 medium light. And it is more on the light side than it is on the medium side. It is perfect for finesse crankbait because it's mod fast. And it's also really good for throwing um, like your little finesse sw swim baits and things because it is that mod fast and it is very sensitive. 
But anyway, um, like I'm saying, don't be afraid to throw your BFS rods on your bass, BFS reels on bass rods. That's why, I mean, I've, I've looked through the cheaper BFS reels and I find the gems. You guys, if you don't know, this is a fucking gem. Gem. Um, this is that swinging net head by VMC. <laughs> it works really good. But anyway, I had this. I took, <laughs> I went down to the river with this thing. I wish I didn't because it's too long. Uh, I won't do it no more. <laughs> so yeah, I won't. I won't do that no more. Um, you don't want to bring a rod like this down to the river because you worry about all the time that you're gonna mess it up. All right, guys. I done tried to get off this video a couple times, but I keep talking. I'll talk to you guys again to death if you let me. I love tackle. I love fishing. It's just a passion. I can't help it. Um, all right, guys. Till next time. Tight lines. Y'all stay safe. The water's still cold. Don't get your ass in there because you'll get froze. Hypothermia happens fast. All right, guys. Like, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'm not begging for subscriptions. You guys have a great day.